What's up? <laughs> How y'all feel, man? Yeah, and now usually I would say, what's up, New York, right? But you got to imagine, this, this is going to go out to everybody. So I'm just saying, hey, what's up, Brooklyn? Because, like I said, I'm from D.C., but, you know, I first moved to New York, right, and I realized this is a different country. <laughs> this is a different country. Y'all don't cut the chickens. You don't cut the head off the chickens in Brooklyn. <laughs> it's more Jamaicans in Brooklyn than in Jamaica. But it's all good, man. Because I, I, I got to know y'all and love y'all, you know what I'm saying? I go to Harlem. That's my family from Harlem. Yeah. But you know what? Them the cotton pickers. Y'all the sugar cane cutters. <laughs> but it's all good. We are one together. And I've been going around in, in New York, man. I know everybody. I even went to the islands. Had a good time. I went to Jamaica. I found out why the brothers walk backwards. <laughs> you know, Jamaicans always walk like this. <laughs> eye and eye. <laughs> I just think that was so cool until I went to Jamaica. And you ever go out on the beach, man, when the sun is high? That sand is hot as shit. <laughs> Blood fire! <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> That's what that shit is about. I went to Jamaica, and I was at this real nice uh, resort, right? And they got this bar with a, a pool. It's a pool. You sit in the pool. The water's up to here. It's nice and warm and shit. They got the little drums playing. Bling, 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 bling. shit is sweet. And the bartender said, what would you like to drink? Motherfucker, everything. I have the all-inclusive band. That means you can drink till you die. <laughs> Motherfucker, start here and we will finish there. And I had bought enough weed to last for the rest of my life. I had bought a nickel bag. And we went to go buy it in a taxi. And after we got through loading up the trunk, and stuffed it in our pockets. I was like, woo, that's enough. <laughs> but this pool, I got to tell you about this pool at my resort, because it's a real nice resort. And you know, me and my girl was like the only black people there, besides the people who work there. <laughs> right? I don't know if y'all know, well, I know y'all don't know shit about pools and chlorination. There's a chlorine that you can put in pools that'll turn red if you piss in it. Don't you think that's a dirty fucking trick? <laughs> you on the all-inclusive. Who the fuck feel like treading water just to go pee? <laughs> like, fuck it. The water warm? I'm way up to here. Who the fuck gonna know? <laughs> and I'm sitting there with white people like, hey, where you from? Ohio. I've been there. <laughs> but you know, sometimes yeah, you lean back on the bar, and I lean back, and I saw this big cloud of red <laughs> around me. This set off a certain amount of panic. Because the first thing I'm thinking is, oh my God, my dick is bleeding. <laughs> For women, this is not a big problem. But for a man, if your dick is bleeding, it's time to start talking to God. Because that's what I was doing. God, help me. My dick is bleeding. Please come to Jamaica. And all the people around me, they're like, hey, swim out. I'm like, I don't want to lose no more blood. <laughs> they started carrying me. 
and I guess due to the nervousness of the situation, more blood was just shooting out. And that's when the bartender gonna lean over and go, hey, that's no urinating in the pool. And we all had that moment of clarity. We all understood at the same instant that I was a nasty bastard. <laughs> Them motherfuckers dropped me. I almost drowned in my own blood. And I was like, fuck it, I ain't come out my room the rest of the vacation. I spent the rest of my three days and seven nights in my hotel. Well, fuck y'all, that's what the vacation package said. <laughs> and we get back to JFK, and my girlfriend gonna look at me and say, um, my mother gonna pick me up. <laughs> I'm like, what, what do you mean? Is she gonna pick me up too? No. I don't wanna say no more. You embarrass me. <laughs> like, ah, what? I embarrass you. And I hurt my feelings, because I was still drunk. And I couldn't help it. I said, hi, I embarrass you. <laughs> Bitch, you cripple. <laughs> and I don't mean to say, she's not cripple cripple, but she had like that little leg. <laughs> but it's sexy, because she, she work it. <laughs> she, she, ah! <laughs> you ain't seen a sexy ass until you see a short leg with a little thong twisted to the side. Well, I wish I could stay a lot longer. <laughs> Give it up for Tony Woods, y'all! The Funny Jack. <laughs>